Hello everyone, this is Ariane Arsenault. Uh, welcome to my soap studio. I am in Canada, so welcome. And uh, I've been on YouTube here for quite a while, but if you don't know me, that's who I am. I'm a soap maker. I also make other products. Today, I am going to be making some beautiful, amazing salt bars. Um, and these, these are similar bars that we've made a couple weeks ago over on my Patreon uh, campaign with patrons. So basically, I'm remaking this exact same formula, but instead of pouring them into single cavity silicone molds, I'm gonna be using these beautiful uh, slabs from Custom Craft Tools, and they come with sets of dividers. So I will be pouring a slab and then inserting the dividers into the soap. Um, because I am pouring a slab, I will also be swirling my soap. This one was plain and uncolored, and you can see a little bit of the pink Himalayan salt in there. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna portion out a little bit of my soap, color it with some pink clay, swirl it, pour it, and sprinkle some salts on top. And they contain lots of salt. I do have many different types of salt soaps. Uh, these are really salt bars. They have the highest amount of salt that I use in a soap. Um, and they do lather and they are super creamy. They give this really nice exfoliating texture and they help to deep cleanse your skin and they have a kind of this creamy feeling because of the salt. So on the bottom, I have some uh, Atlantic sea salt and on the top, I have some pink Himalayan salt. I'm gonna grind these down before including them into my soap. And I also uh, diluted some salt into my lye water solution. You can also use seawater for that. Now, the base of my soap is mostly coconut oil. I also have a little bit of palm and a little bit of shea butter for extra goodness. And once these are melted, I will add some olive oil. Now again, if you wanna have the full recipe and access to the tutorial via our exclusive Patreon Facebook group, you can head over to Patreon. I will leave all the links up and down. You can find them everywhere here on this video and join our Patreon family and learn it with me. All right, so I'll melt these down and I will be back when we are ready to make the soup. The essential oil blend that I am using is a combination of fir balsam, peppermint, as well as cedarwood atlas essential oils. And all of these are by my Canadian supplier, Plants Power. My favorite tool ever for grinding things down is my Magic Bullet. I've been using this for almost 20 years now. Um, and when it comes to grinding down salt, I find that this is what works best. Um, of course, if I'd be grinding things down in bigger volumes, maybe not, but for the scale size soap maker that I am, I think that is perfect. Um, you can use it to grind so many things. I use it for surfactants, salts, anything that's coarse and that needs to be ground down to a small powder. I'm just gonna combine my salt very well so that I have a, a, an evenly combined salt mixture for my soap. All right, let's start grinding. Usually a magic bullet will last me two to three years. So that's pretty good compared to any other coffee grinder that I used like the first year that I was making soap. Now, if you ship online and you buy your supplies from Uline, here's a small tip. When you buy over $500 of Uline uh, shipping materials, you can get a freebie. And in the, I think in the $500 range, you can get a free magic bullet. So now I get my magic bullets for free <laughs> whenever I need to order uh, shipping boxes from Uline, I just get a magic bullet for free. Okay, the second part of this salt will go into the second batch. So I'm going to put it on the side. And we are ready to combine our oils and lye water solution and make some soap. Oils and butters are melted, so I'm going to split this in half so that I can make only one soap <laughs> for my first batch. It's 
now time for magic to happen. I'm gonna start by pouring my, my light water solution, which also contains salt, into my oils and butter mixture. I don't want to pulse more than this because there's going to be more pulsing whenever I add my essential oils and my uh, salt. So we're just going to leave it at that for now. Put this down on my spoon rest. Every one bit needs to go in the soap. And the reason we're using lots of coconut oil in this base is because it is a high foaming oil when it is turned into soap. Uh, and salt is known to diminish the lather of soap. So mixing salt and coconut oil, good idea. You could do 100% coconut oil soap with salt and that would be great. Mix the salt gently. It's gonna release some air. Let's mix this one. Salt bars are extremely hard to cut, if not impossible, without um, making them brittle and looking not so pretty, which is why I'm using a slab mold with dividers. All right, let's pour. Okay, and now using a chopstick, I'm going to swirl these soups. When you grab the dividers, make sure to grab the right ones <laughs> so that they don't all fall out. Align them. You want to add some accent Himalayan salts or Atlantic salt or any type of salt um, now would be a good time the salts that you want to avoid when you make salt bars is uh, dead sea salt and Epsom salt because they do tend to make the soap mushy rather than extremely hard and firm
voila, <laughs> all done. So I will wait for this to completely firm up and I will be back tomorrow to unmold and show you the final result. When making salt bars, it's just like any soap. You can switch up the ingredients, tweak your formula and make a whole new different salt bar. For example, here I'm using plain sea salt with these huge crystals to decorate on top, which are actually uh, just very coarse sea salt. Change your essential oil blend, uh, but the rest is the same base. Uh, by the way, I decided to try eocalc.com for this blend. I wanted something that was spa-like, and uh, I'll show you the blend that I used, and it's from, uh, it's a creation by Kenna um, on eocalc.com. So it's a great resource if you don't know much about essential oils and you wanna try your hand at it. So the, the blend that I chose, and this is the first time that I'm using a blend from eocalc. I've seen the tool, I've referenced it before, but it's the first time that I use one of their blends. Um, it's called Lavish Spa, and these are salt bars, so which is kind of like spa-ish, which is why I chose this specific one. I am back to pop these salt bars out of the mold. So I'm gonna start by um, removing the bolts from the mold and then we will pop these back out. Some of them will just fall right off. Some of them will need a little push, uh, but mainly because they are so hard because of the salt, they're pretty easy to unmold. Uh, I do have a little bit of grab from the underneath of the dividers. So I'm just gonna take a knife and just gently shave this off. And you can see that these shaving are pretty dry and crumbly, which is why we don't wanna cut these. It's really important to either use single cavity silicone soap molds or a slab uh, with dividers like this one. I'm really, really happy about how they turned out. I find that the swirling is just beautiful and the Himalayan salts add just the perfect touch to these soaps. So these will go in the drying trays for about a month and then they will be ready here at the shop, also in the online store. Keep in mind that this is a very small, limited edition. Um, so if you want one, grab one while they are still available as I'm not sure when or if I will be remaking these specific soaps. And voila, thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed to see how these soaps were made. If you would like to learn how to make them, please head out to my Patreon campaign where this is the August tutorial. Um, and as always, my tutorials will stay active for three months over on Patreon. So you can get, grab three full tutorials, a keeper, which is a fourth for $5 a month. This helps to support my YouTube channel and my small business. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. And all the links are below in the description box. Cheers, bye-bye.